this is how this basic looks. I really live for how the thing is constructed. It's a pretty well made garment in general. In here, this one needs some love, although, yeah. I will need to retail or this a bit because this is unfortunately a bit too wide so it won't stand by itself. Some small corrections. This doesn't look exactly as it's supposed to because obviously this is a female mannequin so. That's going to look better on a flat, flattened chest. This is not attached, so this actually has snappy fingers going on. That's made from fabric. So it's kind of strange to be honest, but... I really live for the choice of fabric that they did. The stitching is very well done, although it's a bit too long. That's supposed to be a female medium. Well, it is a female medium, although I will definitely need to retail this, like, as you can see. So, that's it here. The sleeves, this is not attached, so this is also what I will have to do. I will need to shorten this, because for someone who is 165 centimeters tall, this is definitely too long, although I think that shouldn't be an issue. This actually has a very well made lining inside. I'm living for this, it's like actually very well constructed. That's how this looks. Yeah, I'm doing this with one hand, don't ask. But. We have a snap, 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 also another look for the, li of the lining, and the pants. This is actually very well made, guys. I mean, the thing is clean, it's a nice cut, actually the pants fit very well. We also have this thingy, and belt loops. So. Also, this thing is not attached, it's fabric and that's the same premise as on the front. So you've got this, right? So I will definitely remove the attachments <coughs> and just see the sound because you know, like otherwise that's just gonna be dangly and strange. So yeah, that's what it is. And a couple of additional stitches to make this stand out as it's supposed to. But overall, it's a very well made suit. Also for the accessories they provide, they are actually made from fabric, so there's also some sort of eco leather. And yeah, I mean, you also get those, the head accessories, although I kind of don't understand why is this soon. Anyway, the ones that I made before, they are from Volvo, although they are like standing too tall so I will just need to shorten them, make them smaller. Although that's that's this part. So it's also very big as you can see. It's it's really the cast of my face, so that's a big boy. But yeah. Off to retail of this. For the chest piece I decided to go with Eva foam because in manga it used to be a lace, now it's a tattoo, so I wasn't entirely sure what is gonna look better, but this way it's a reusable cutout, so you basically stick this to your skin with spirit gum. It saves a lot of time and can be used on multiple occasions. As you know, painting this on took way too long. <laughs> So after the Komi I made new hairpins and changed the zipper heads. Those were made from PVC board and Eva foam and finished with spray paint. Also one thing about the makeup, because basically every time I wear this cosplay it looks a bit different. Well it all depends on how much time I can spend on the makeup during that day. 
because that's always gonna be more blocky when I'm on that event or something like that. There is not enough time or space for gradients, etc. And when I'm at home and I can actually do this without any pressure, let's say that's gonna be more detailed and there is gonna be more depth to this. That's something definitely worth doing for plant photo shoots because it looks absolutely gorgeous on pictures. Although walking around in a costume for a couple of hours at an event would simply make it melt away. Okay, so technically I had another prop for this costume and that's gonna turn into a bit of a flex most likely, but hey, that would be stupid not to at least mention this, right? That's probably gonna be another video altogether because it's been months at this point, but honestly... I needed some time to get in touch with video editing software and catch up on the basics. As you can see, I'm like literally starting on this, so... Anyway, I also made a prop of the Requiem Arrow and started on the turtle with the key. Although I didn't have enough time to finish before Luca, so I just took the arrow and the key with me. And as it turned out, during the convention I was lucky enough to hand those things straight to Araki Sensei's hands. I still have to occasionally remind myself that it actually happened. It took me long enough, but the arrow itself, the construction and maybe the story about the whole Italian excursion would be a different video altogether. Well, I will definitely need to sit down for this and do this properly, not as a sort of picture slideshow, let's say. But yeah, if you guys would like to hear about this, let me know in the comments or at the social media. There's plenty of ways to actually find me there, so you're more than welcome to drop by. Please make sure to check out the description under the video because I listed all the people that appeared on the pictures or took them. So everything that I used in here is tagged below. So please make sure to visit those amazing people. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. You know, they are great fun. They deserve some love. Also, I have no clue how long it's gonna take me to actually organize everything, but I definitely plan to start uploading things like Jojo makeup tutorials and write-ups on costumes and props that I'm making, so... So either if you're part of the Jojo fam or just generally interested in things like this, let's keep in touch. That would be nice.